Hi, this is a, a short coffee video, or hope it is anyway. It's just going over a technique I used in a couple of previous videos, which has turned out to be more useful than I thought originally. I found um, I found lots of ways to use it, so I thought I'd just go over a few of those uh, uh, very quickly indeed. So it was the layers where I, I don't want to call them really, <laughs> I call them a layer stack, they're really a, a set of um, variations that you can mix between. So we'll get rid of that, turn that to never. And this is very truncated workflow I'll put below the video. I would normally have more refines and so forth. So uh, we'll change this image. We're going, coming out of a noisy image, we'll come out of, oh, I don't know. We'll do that one. Doesn't matter. It. And the um, prompt is, um, I'm mixing a couple of prompts together with um, conditioning average, which is quite fun. Sometimes, sometimes I'd quite like to dry flux balmy is one way of doing it if you have um having it at one you get this only having it at naught you get that halfway you get a mix of the two so we'll run that and see what that throws at us okay so that's fine uh, any old image will do really big old factory job and we'll get straight on to what goes on down here this essentially i'll make it active produces one two three four five variations on this image. So it'll it'll take the same input and it'll turn out five variations. And we'll run that because easier to show than it is to explain in words. Okay, so it's done uh, five variations and I have found by trial and doing it wrong <laughs> that, uh, that you start at the bottom and you work your way up and you don't go looking at the top before you before you've done the bottom. Believe me, it's simpler to do it this way. So here we have two variations and we use the mask editor to paint one of them. You don't have to be very careful because the refine stage will um, sort out any nasties really. So we draw a line around the bit we want, leaving the bit we don't want separate. You have two holes to true. If you're doing detailed stuff, you want to turn that to false. There you go, look, my magic. We got a new, a new join between the two. The join is not perfect, but you don't need to worry about that because the refine stage will fix anything. So there we go. Then we look at things we like here. Uh, no, you don't want to be too worried about things if you, you, you know, doing things if you don't like them. I don't like this, so we might, we might have uh, the, all the join in that bit of floor from this one, and I, I prefer this here, I think, as well. In fact, I prefer that um, I prefer that bit of roof generally. So we can open in mask editor. As you see, this is extremely easy. Um, we uh, we didn't like this stuff here, did we? So we can have that. Take that out. So everything you're painting over will appear. And of course, it's uh, right my right button to draw, left one to. And I think we're going to have the whole of the roof and that, but not the people. There we go. Save that for the node. There you go. Look at that. And you see, it's tidied all this up. It's amazing how they just about always fit. Uh, some of these have been done at a higher denoise to give um, a bit more extra variation. So we've got quite a good figure there. I think we can probably have him in. So let's, uh, let's see if we, how it looks. It might, it might look rubbish, this, but we have a look. No, he's all right. Yeah, I can live with that. Maybe we'll trim a little bit closely, more closely to him. Just here. And here and here and we can adjust this uh it's got a blur radius of eight for too much there we go that just tightens in in on him a little bit we can clip him close a bit closer to him maybe so you can see you can you can do this to any degree of refinement really take the expand down i think a bit a bit more down to nothing probably that's very good so we want to take it out a little bit lovely okay so we've got a um a nice figure in that's lucky it doesn't often happen that actually so uh, we look at this one. Is there anything we want? Uh, no, actually, the uh, the bluey distance one. If um, uh, if one of them doesn't have anything you want, uh, you can change the seed, change the denoise, and you can run it again. There we go. Quite like this thing. Don't know what it is, but I quite like it. Okay, we'll have that. And as you say, you can you can do this ad infinitum. You can even you can even send it round and do it again if you if you're really crazy. Don't think there's anything else we want from here. And because of the nature of um, the generations, they'll always fit, really. Okay, then with strange 
Ooh, they are, aren't they? Strange hats. I don't think we'll have those. And I'm not sure I want anything from this. Well, we won't bother running it, but I think you get the idea. We, we can... We can do anything we want like that. And then, uh, I'll just quickly run it through. This has all been covered before, though, this. Uh, this is just a light, because the light is, is, is over here, really. So I can move my light um, across and uh, make it a bit larger and a bit wider. And as you see, I, 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 I get a bit of uh, more interesting lighting on our subject. So if you see how it was before, lit up by it. The uh, using the light just adds subtlety to it, and uh, it it just gives it a bit more depth and, and interest. So I think it's well worth having. Uh, there we go. Um, I think that's all done. There we go. Subtlify that, and then just run your refine. And this is as far as I'll go. Um, so the refine, there's bits that don't make sense in there, and what you'll find is the refine running at 55 here or 45 even. We'll fix them all. And there we have it. Look at that. Now you can, of course, if you want, duplicate this and do the same thing with the refine image. Uh, I'm not going to show you how, but basically, if you duplicate this, uh, you can do another stack here at the higher res. What I normally do is I do three at that stage. So if you delete any of these, delete them from the top. Don't delete them from the bottom. Because the, uh, the important connections are at the bottom and you can delete stuff at the top. Okay, so I, I think that um, covers it and I'll, I'll put a link to the two videos where this method cropped up. And this is a slightly improved version, so maybe you could, uh, you could drop this version in and uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be more effective. Uh, I found it an extremely useful and quick technique. Um, it... Uh, really really makes comping together variations very very easy okay hope this is interesting thanks for your attention